All right. Uh, the old Independence Hall, huh? What actually goes into a, a, a historic build like this? I mean, as far as building it? Yeah, like a, um, like yeah, as far as building it, like coming up, coming up with what you want to do, you, what you're deciding on. So I just really, I mean, it was like I just had this desire to build Independence Hall, so mm -hmm. it's just an idea I had is what I wanted to do. Uh -huh. So then it's a matter of figuring out where to start, really. Yeah. And so I found a guy online that had a digital design for Independence Hall. Mm -hmm. So I started with his design just to get the base design. I don't live in Philadelphia, I live across the state. Okay. So I did go based on pictures and stuff. So having his base design was really helpful. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to build it like a modular so that I could do the full interior. Right, right. And Okay, okay. And, uh, one brick at a time, you know? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. I like that the fact that you, you made it modular, so which would make it a lot easier to, to actually transport it and everything. It does so. make it a little easier. Yeah. Right? Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it. Yeah. All right, let's take a look inside. All right. It's a lot better than No worries, I'm sorry. Let's That's take a look inside. <laughs> so this is the upper level. There was the long gallery, uh -huh. and then the governor's chamber, and then another chamber. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, sorry to make you do the work. <laughs> oh, no, find it all. I mean, oh, wow, look at that, folks. You want people to see it, right? Right. And then these are the, your most famous rooms. This is where they do most of the tours in Independence Hall. The courthouse right. and the assembly room where the Declaration of Independence was signed. So. That's really awesome. Wow. Nice, nice towel. This is, this is this very nice and neat. It looks, looks like the real thing. Thanks, Ann. I appreciate it.